there welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new so today we're going to do a house tour yay now i love my house so much but there's definitely uh, a room that i have forgotten to decorate i totally forgot to decorate the basement it's been just hanging out for a while being just a dumping ground so today I'm gonna to show you the rest of my house and we're gonna finish the basement so here is the living room this is one of my favorite decorating projects that I've ever done in the entirety of Animal Crossing I love this room I think it is so amazing it's definitely like dark and moody something a little different than I'd actually have in real life it's a little more traditional than I'd have in real life. In real life, I'm much more mid-century modern, much more minimalist, but this sort of dark, moody, sort of Victorian old feel, but with a little bit of masculine sophistication is what I really like. I especially like the tea room, tea cafe wall, I think it's called, if I'm not right. Uh, you guys know what it is. It's the one from Sahara that's in Tia's house. It's so pretty and I love it. And I have my grand piano because in real life, I'm a musician. I don't play actual piano very well, but you know, we'll forget about that. All right, let's go to the next room and that is my office on the side. This room is oft forgotten about uh, as I don't often visit here, but I absolutely love this room. It's, a, it's again, a little more cluttered than I'd like, you know, in real life, but in Animal Crossing, it just makes it look so cozy that there's all kinds of stuff on the walls. Again, a dark, moody wall with lots of details, some traditional antique furniture, and of course, a big old TV on the wall and lots of fish on the wall. I don't know why I have fish and bug, bug heads on the wall, but I also have a lot of plants. In real life, I'm a plant mom and I enjoy taking care of plants. I also like to just jam out to KK Disco in here. Do you guys love KK Disco? I think it's one of the best KK songs. Anyway, let's move on to the next room in the house. It is the bedroom. You all have seen my bedroom. If you've come to my live stream at any time, it's where I change clothes. It's where I do the dream address visiting from. So this, uh, I wanna say lovely bed, but it's not the lovely bed. It's the cute bed. I collect this series in every Animal Crossing game. And this time they called it the cute bed. And it was one of the first things that I found in a balloon actually at the beginning of the game. And this bed is worth a lot of bells. So I was super lucky to find this from a balloon and I love all the pink hearts and stuff in this room. It's super pink and super just cute. I love it so much. I was thinking about changing it around, but I just, I just really like it. And I'm very proud of my animal collection of photos on the wall. Next, we have the awesome bathroom. This bathroom is, you know, your generic ironwood bathroom with like the shoji screen wall and the shoji screen simple panel, but there's something really satisfying and just comfortable about this bathroom. You just wanna go in here after a long day, soak in the tub or take a nice relaxing shower, listen to some music, read some magazines. I got a lot of magazines hanging out there and, uh, or, you know, use, use the John. That's something, you know. Anyway, I really like that room. And next is the kitchen. This is again, a generic ironwood kitchen. I didn't really work super hard on this, but I do like how big it is. It's like the most, I mean, I wish I had a kitchen this big in real life. We got a little table in there. I like to sit on, you know, at this table every now and again, and just imagine that I'm gonna eat that big old cake. By the way, this cake from last year's wedding series and this year's wedding series with Cease, uh, Reese, Cease, Reese and Cyrus, one of the best cakes in the game. I think it's so pretty with like the, the natural non-frosting, best cake. Anyway, here's the basement. It's a mess. It's a hot mess. Oh my gosh. By the way, did you know that this fossils are like not flat? Look at that. They're like kind of round. And also, can we just acknowledge for one moment that the recipe cards actually have some, looks like some recipes written on the back. I never even noticed. Anyway, basement looking kind of whacked out. So I think today, and it's looked like this for months, 
for months. And everybody's made fun of me when they see my basement. They're like, what is going on with your basement? Today, we're gonna solve it. Let's go. So I wanted this to be an actual basement because I don't have a basement in real life, right? <laughs> I just have, I live in an apartment, but I love basements because basements are places where you can go to be really cozy and, or, you know, to have some recreation sometimes, or they're for storage, or basically there to be, you know, utilitarian. And I, when I was growing up, I used to play in my grandparents' basement all the time. They had this amazing finished basement and it had like lots of toys and like, of video games and places to eat and hang out and places to hide and play house. And it was just a fun, really nice place to be and to develop as a child. So basements are really an important place to me. So I really wanted to make this basement basement-y, but also really cozy. So I basically designed a laundry room and utility room on the left and an entertainment family room style area on the right. Now, I didn't use any custom patterns at all. They're all patterns that you can get from Mabel and Sable. So you don't need online to do this design or anything like this design. So you can just use the stuff that comes in the game. I incorporated the lace rug. That's one of my favorite things in the game. I think it's so pretty and so, you know, cottage core. And I got these automatic washers from, I guess, from Nooks, and I think it's so adorable that they're pink. I really want some pink washing machines in real life. Can I make that happen? Can I? I think one of these days I might make it happen. Anyway, I put a sink in between, and just I had a great time decorating this area. I really wanted to put some cardboard boxes in the storage area because if you really think about it, basements are usually where places where things go to die, you know? So you definitely have some random cardboard boxes of stuff that you haven't touched for years in the basement. So I love that nook, uh, that the, um, excuse me, I love that you can customize the cardboard boxes in the game to look colorful and I really wanted to do that. And I had a lot of fun using a lot of the Turkey Day items as well. The Turkey Day items are so cute. And when Marty moved out of my town, uh, my island, he left that TV for me and I figured there's no place better to put it than my freaking basement. So I really, really like the way that this turned out. So I will uh, shut up for the rest of the build. So I think this turned out super cute. I really love the way that it turned out. I just, it's it, it's just bringing back old, like childhood basement recreation vibes, <laughs> even to the fireplace down there. Cause my parent, my grandparents actually did have a fireplace in the basement. It was super cool. And the, you know, the, the cool pastel piano. I love the vibes. I love it so much. And also, you know what? This is actually a lot like my grandparents' basement because they had the washer dryer down in there too. So I think uh, I did an un sort of an unofficial tribute to them. I loved them so much. They were so fantastic. I actually did steal Audie's rattan basket because it was the one finishing touch I wanted to put on top of the laundry machine. But 
The, the basement's very vibey with the lights off. I think it looks so cool in a place where you just want to escape to, watch some movies in the dark down here. I think it's so fun. So let me know if you guys like this transformation or not. I think it is so, 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 so cute. And I'm going to have a lot of fun hanging out down here. Okay, friends, thanks for watching the video and take care of yourselves and those around you and have a good one. Bye.